वेलकम एवरी वन टू अर्थ साइंसेज ऑफ सीमित क्लासेस टूडे इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो प्रेजेंटेशन वी विल लर्न अबाउट द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ प्लेट मूवमेंट एंड ड्राइवर्स ऑफ द लिथोस्फेरिक प्लेट वी विल ऑल्सो लर्न अबाउट द मॉडल्स ऑफ मेंटल कन्वेक्शन विच इंक्लूड द होल मेंटल कन्वेक्शन एंड लेयर्ड मेंटल कन्वेक्शन सो लेट्स बिगिन सो वॉट आर द ड्राइवर्स that operate our lithospheric plates so researchers are in a general agreement that some type of convection where hot metal rocks arise and cold dense oceanic lithosphere sinks so here we have rising hot metal and we have subduction or sinking of cold lithospheric plate this is the ultimate driver of the plate tectonics many of the details of this convective flow however remain the topic of debate in the scientific community so here we can see in brief the different forces which operates the plate tectonics so there is a ridge force well it occurs along the divergent plate margins and the slab pull it occurs along the convection plate margins the gravity facilitates this movement slab pull and ridge push let's explain this so geologists generally agree that subduction of cold dense slab of oceanic lithosphere is a major deriving force of plate motion as we can see in this figure this phenomenon is called slab pull it occurs because cold slabs of oceanic lithosphere are more dense than one underlying the warm asthenosphere and hence sink like a rock meaning that they are pulled down into the mantle by gravity so lithospheric slabs we can see over here these slabs are subducting into the mantle because they are roughly 2% denser than underlying asthenosphere the another important force is ridge push as we can see in this diagram this ridge push occurs along the mid oceanic ridges this gravity driven mechanism results from the elevated positions of oceanic ridge which causes slabs of lithosphere to slide down the flanks of the ridge A ridge push appears to contribute far less to the plate motion than slab pull. The primary evidence for this that the fastest moving plates, that is Pacific, Nazca, and Cocos plates, have extensive subduction zones along their plate margins. By contrast, the spreading rates in North Atlantic Basin, which is nearly developed, or it is divided of subduction zone. is one of the lowest at about 2.5 cm per year we can see along the western pacific so that movement is facilitated by eastern pacific rise that has got the fastest spreading rate because it is associated with one of the fastest subducting plate so this slab pull facilitates the movement of the plates but in in contrast with we see the north atlantic there we see that because it is devoid of any subduction zone proper subduction zone so spreading rate is only 2.5 cm per year although the subduction of cold dense lithospheric plates appear to be dominant force acting on the plates other factors also are at work the flow in the mantle perhaps describes as mantle drag is also thought to affect the plate motion because if there are two things which are moving past each other for example this represents this and this hand represents the mantle and this hand overriding one represents the lithosphere so if the convective currents into the mantle they are moving in the same direction as the plate is moving this is going to facilitate the plate movement and if both are moving in opposite direction that is going to resist the plate movement 
when the flow in the stenosphere is moving at a velocity that exceeds the plate mental drag enhances the plate motion however if the stenosphere is moving more slowly than the plate if the plate is moving and the stenosphere is also moving but it is moving slowly or if it is moving in opposite direction this force tends to resist the plate motion another type of resistance to the plate motion occurs along some subduction zone where the friction between the overriding plate and the descending slab generates significant earthquake activity models of plate mantle convection although the convection in the mantle has yet to be fully understood researchers generally agree on the following mechanisms or following models so in the first model they discuss there is convective flow in the rocky 2900 km thick mantle in which warm buoyant rock arises and cooler denser material sinks it is underlying the deriving force for the plate movement the mantle convection and plate tectonics are part of the same system subducting oceanic plates derive and cold downward moving portion of convective flow while shallow upwelling of hard rock along the oceanic ridge and buoyant mantle plumes are the upward flowing arms of the convecting mechanism the convective flow in the mantle is major mechanism for transporting heat away from the earth's interior to the surface where it is eventually radiated into the space what is known with certainty is exact structure of this flow several models have been proposed for plate mantle convection and now we are going to look two of them that is whole mantle convection and layer cake model now let's study the first convection model that is whole mantle convection model so there are group of researchers which favor some type of whole mantle convection model it is also called as plume model in which the cold oceanic lithosphere sinks to the greater depths and stirs the entire mantle the whole mantle model suggests that the ultimate burial ground for the subducting lithospheric slab is core mantle boundary near to the d double prime layer it is also known as slab graveyard the downward flow of these subducting slab is generally balanced by buoyantly rising mantle plumes that transport hot mantle rock towards the surface two kinds of plume has been proposed the narrow tube like plumes and giant upwellings often referred as mega plumes that we are going to study in some next classes about the mantle plumes so there we will be studying the about these type of plumes the narrow plumes and the mega plumes the long narrow plumes are thought to originate from core mantle boundary and produce hot spot volcanism of the type associated with the hawaiian island iceland and yellowstone associated with india we have certain mantle plume activities like the eruption of the continental flood basalt in deccan traps that is associated with one of the mantle plume activity the scientists believe that areas of large mega plumes occur beneath the pacific basin and south africa the later structure is thought to explain why south africa has an elevation much higher than would be predicted for a stable continental landmass so generally people consider that south africa has got anomalous height but this anomalous relief of south africa depends on the occurrence of super plumes below the african continent in the whole mantle convection model heat from both type of plumes is brought or thought to arise 
mainly from the earth's core while the deep mantle provides a source of chemically distinct magmas however some researchers have questioned that idea that instead proposed that source of magma is most hot spot volcanism is found in upper mantle asthenosphere so there are two school of thoughts in mental source or we can say the mental plume source one school of thoughts proposes that source of the magma for the mental plume is rather the pole mental boundary and another school of thought proposes that source for the mental plume magma is upper mental the second mental convection model is layer cake model there are some researchers they argue that the mantle resembles like a layer cake divided at a depth of perhaps 660 km so that is also a 660 km discontinuity but no deeper than 1000 km as we can see in this diagram the layer model has two zones of convection a thin dynamic layer in upper mantle and thick larger slug is located below the upper mantle as with the whole mantle model the downward convective flow is driven by the subduction of cold dense oceanic lithosphere however rather than reach the lower mantle these subducting slabs penetrate to the depth of no more than 1000 km notice that the upper layer in the layer cake model is littered with the recycled oceanic lithosphere of various ages the mental melting of these fragments is thought to be the source of magma for some of the volcanism that occurs away from the plate boundaries such as hot spot volcanism for example in hawaii in contrast to the active upper mantle the lower mantle is sluggish and do not provide material to support volcanism at surface very slow convection within this layer likely carries heat upward but very little mixing between these two layer is thought to occur geologists continue to debate the nature of convective flow in mantle as they investigate the possible or possibilities perhaps a uh, hypothesis that combines features from layer cake model and the whole mental convection model so in this video presentation we have learned about the drivers of the plate movement that includes the slab pull and ridge push we have also learned about the whole mental convection and layered mental convection please subscribe to this channel like and share and stay updated for more such videos on earth sciences thank you jai hind jai bharat